Thank you for tuning to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Well, glory, hallelujah. Facebook cut the last live video. Let's do this one more again. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's see if it'll last this time. Thank you, Lord, it will, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Let go of the limits is what I'm preaching today. Let go of the limits. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. And if you got your Bibles, turn me to the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verses 1 through 2. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I was under the weather last week and could not preach my vocal cords would not reach above the whisper, a whisper. So I, I was really rough last week. I couldn't even preach. But I'm so glad that the Lord has allowed me to be back in the pulpit with you today to bring his word to the body of Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Amen. Good morning, Sister Donna. God bless you. I love you. Amen. Father, hide me behind the cross. There'll be none of me but all of you. Spit of these lips of clay. Let by leave here singing, I got just what I wanted. And more from the Lord. Hide, hide me behind the cross. There'll be none of me but all of you. Spit of these lips of clay. And by leave here singing, I got just what I wanted. <laughs> and more from the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I am your brother in the Lord, Brother H.R. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. My co-pastor, Jesse Scully, Brother Jesse Scully, we already had Bible study this morning. This sermon is actually a Bible study on my YouTube page. You can go to YouTube, look up Brother HR, and find this morning's Bible study. It's audio, but you can hear me and Brother Jesse, and we're bouncing ideas off of, pe uh, of people, off of each other. We're bouncing ideas off of each other, and we're studying the Bible, so... This whole sermon today was actually a Bible study this morning. So no two sermons are the same. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So I'm going to preach to you today. Let go of the limits. Let go of the limits. Bless God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore seeing we are also are wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with a great cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight. And that sin, and the sin, which so e doth easily beset us. Looking un... Wait, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. He said, seeing we're compassed about with such a great cloud of witnesses. If you read right above chapter 12 and verse 11, it talks about the hall of the saints of heaven. It talks about the record report of those that lived for God and those that had faith. And he said, we're surrounded by them. Let me say, let me say this. Hebrews chapter 12 talks about how we're to run this race. And these brothers and sisters in Christ are standing in the grandstands of heaven saying, we ran our race. Now you run yours. Don't give up. Don't give in. Just keep giving. Keep giving to God everything within you. Run this race with the grace of God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Now, let me tell you this. In Ephesians, it says that he is seated in heavenly places, 
far above every principality and power. But the Bible said we are seated with him in heavenly places. See, they are with him because they've ran their race and they're stepped into the other side of glory. They've ran their race. They crossed the finish line. But let me tell you something. We're not running parallel to them. We're running this race together. We're running in sync with their life. The saints of old are up there standing and shouting from the grandstands of heaven saying, go, 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 go. Don't you quit. You keep going. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. The goal is Jesus. The goal is to be with him. To live as Christ. To die as gain. That's what Paul said. He said, I'm going to gain the greatest prize when I step from this fallen world into the life to come. I'm going to, hallelujah, I'm going to have a hallelujah time up there. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He says, I'm going to rejoice when I get up there. I'm rejoicing now because I'm enduring trouble like a good soldier, but I'm enduring this. But hallelujah, when I finally get to my rest, I'm going to enjoy my heavenly visit better. I'm going to enjoy my heavenly experience because when I leave this world, I'm going to be with Jesus. Amen. The ultimate prize is Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. See, the Bible said we are seated with him. Good morning, Sister Angel. Glad you could tune back in. Yeah, Facebook cut the original video. Amen. You're right. Please share this video again. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bless the Lord. But now, see, we are seated with him. And we're surrounded by them. Because they are with him. And because they are with him and we're surrounded by them, we are with them in heavenly places. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Good morning, Sister Teresa. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, daughter. Glad you could tune in. Amen. <coughs> Amen. I want you to go with me real quick now to Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 through 15. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. But it says we're to look to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. We're to look to the coach of eternal life. We're to look to Jesus and follow after his example. We're to look and see the life of the saints and, and try to emulate Jesus. Try to, to try to imitate him. Try to live like Jesus would live. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I sure will be praying, Sister Donna. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're supposed to walk in the shadow. Of the Almighty. And when we begin to walk in Him. And He begins to walk in us. God can use us. The same way He used Peter's shadow. He'll use our shadow. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. I love you Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. You can walk into a hospital. If, the, uh, if there's enough of the anointing within you. You don't even have to lay hands on the sick. For them to recover. All you got to do is walk in there. And the shadow of the glory of God upon your life. Will heal that sick person. All you got to do is carry the anointing. Be willing to be an open vessel for the cross <clears throat> thank you Jesus amen I think I'm going to put part 2 on my Facebook on my YouTube page amen thank you Jesus the study then the sermon amen thank you Jesus hallelujah holy ghost I love you Lord Jesus glory to God amen you got to be willing 
to be a willing vessel. You've got to be willing to be a drink offering. Your life to be a drink offering before the Lord. Till it's poured out and there ain't nothing left to pour into. That it's just all used up. That your life was used completely for the glory of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Jeremiah told the Lord several times, I quit. Isaiah told the Lord, I quit. And they threw in the towel and God said, no, nope, you can't quit. Here's the towel back. Keep wiping your face and keep going this race. Don't you dare give up, though it looks like you can't make it anymore. I've given you the glory, he said. I've given you the glorious power that you need to finish this race. Keep on going. Don't you quit running. Thank you, Jesus. Let go of the limits. Let go of everything and everyone that's holding you back from doing what God's called you to do because God hijacked your destiny. When you said yes to God and you said no to your flesh and you said, Lord, I give you my life, whatever you want to do with it, it's yours. And you started living for Jesus and running this race for him. The very moment you did, let me tell you what happened. <clears throat> God hijacked your destiny and the life you wanted to live. The, the worldly things that you would have done. Maybe some of been good things. I don't know. Maybe you was going to be a baseball player. I know a few people that were baseball players and God turned them to preachers. You know, maybe you were going to be a, maybe you were going to win the World Series or something. And then God said, I want you to win the world for me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Billy Sunday, you know, he, um, he was going to be a baseball player. In fact, he was a baseball player. And God hijacked his destiny when Billy got saved at a missions. <coughs> he walked to a missions church, led by the Spirit of God, and God saved him, filled him with the Holy Ghost and fire. And then he went on to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And when he would preach, he would do baseball moves the way he would do because God used his destiny. God used something that Billy loved and the way he would do it, the way he would preach was a style that he picked up from his baseball career. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Let me tell you, when God called that brother home, he hit a home run for heaven. He really did. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. No two sermons are the same, y'all. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. By God's grace, we got to finish this race, but we got to first let go of the limits. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Philippians 3.13. Brethren, I count not myself to apprehend it, to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, Forgetting the things which are behind me. I, he said, I'm forgetting the things which are behind me and reaching forth under those things which are before. I'm letting go of the limits. I'm not looking back on who I used to be anymore. I may not be who I want to be, but thank God I'm not who I used to be. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm letting go of the limits. And I'm saying, Lord, I'm giving you my life. Here I am, Jesus. Use me, Lord. Hallelujah, God. I'm letting go of the limits. Thank you, Jesus. I'm casting aside every weight and that sin. That so easily beset me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. That's why the Bible said, look unto Jesus, because your enemy is as a roaring lion. He says, cast all your cares, 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all your cares on me, for I care for you. Why? He said, because your enemies is a roaring lion, looking for anyone he can devour. He said, be sober-minded and vigilant. Be sober-minded for your enemy, the devil, is as a roaring lion, seeking anyone he can devour. So cast all your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. First Peter 5, 7, 6 through 8. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you're not willing to let go of the limits, 
excuse me, if you're not willing to let go of the limits, then those limits can become like a lion. Oh, shout out Abbasiah. If you're not willing to let go of the limits, them limits can become like a lion and they'll devour your life. You got to let go of the past and look forward into God's presence. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He said, whoever puts their hand to the plow and looks back, is not fit for the kingdom. You've got to let go of the limits before the limits let go of you, before they mess with you and destroy your life. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. He said, I press forward to the mark, toward the mark of the prize, for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us, therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded, and if any thing ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. <coughs> See, there's a lot of people that were preaching in them days that you were that they were totally perfect, that they were without any flaw. He said, "Let them think that." He said, "Let them that think they're totally perfect realize this: we ain't perfect without Him." It's his blood that makes us perfect. It's his blood that makes us like we've never sinned. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. The Bible said, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Mananoius, sin, Mananoius, missing the mark, like an arrow being shot by an archer. Mananoius, missing the mark. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. You know, I tell you, you ain't got to be a preacher with a suit and a tie and a pulpit preaching the gospel to win souls. You can be a manager at a, a nuts and bolts factory working in a car lot, and you can win souls to Jesus. The Bible said, he who wins souls is wise. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. He didn't say, these signs shall follow the preacher. He said, these signs shall follow the believer. Mark me down as a believer because there's a lot of preachers that don't even preach what they believe. They don't even believe what they're preaching. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Don't mark me down as a preacher. Mark me down as a believer. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Yes, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. To keep you from... Thank you, Lord. Facebook cut the video again. I bind you, devil, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. The Bible said, he said, I would encourage you to sin not. But if you do sin, you have an advocate with the Father. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There, we're not going to be perfect until the day that they lay me in the box. I'm not going to be perfect until the day they lay me in that wooden box and go home to eat fried chicken after laying me in the ground. That's when I'm going to be perfect. But until that day, I've still got, I've got horns for halos. I've still got issues in my tissues. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> I understand that I'm the chief among sinners right now, like Paul said. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I've been saved by the grace of God, yes. But let me tell you something. I'm striving for perfection. I've not yet apprehended that, but yet I've been apprehended. I've been taken a, a hold of by God. He's took a hold of me. Now I'm holding on to the nail-pierced hands of Calvary. I'm holding of God, God, the Jesus, Yeshua, Hamashiach. I'm holding on to the nail-pierced hands of the man who died on Golgotha's hill for me. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. And as long as I keep remembering that my big brother Jesus defeated the devil 2,000 years ago on an old Roman cross, my big brother defeated the devil 2,000 years ago on an old Roman cross. Jesus Christ is my big brother. My elder brother Jesus defeated the devil. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. He said, "If you," Paul was saying, if you think you're perfect, God will show you otherwise. 
every prideful man falls humbly and every humble man is exalted because God resists the proud. They're going to trip. God's going to allow them to trip. Put the foot out. Don't allow them to trip. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God resists the proud. Yep. He's going to make them fall over. Resist the proud. <laughs> but, thank you, Jesus. God resists the proud. He turns from the proud. But he exalts the humble. Those that have been put their life on the line. And gave their life to Jesus. They're going to be exalted in due time. Thank you Lord Jesus. Amen. Just like every athlete. We must train. 1 Corinthians 9.27 Paul said. I beat this body into submission. I make this flesh. Mind me. I am its master. It's not mine. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you Lord. Just like every athlete, though, sometimes we fall when we run. Galatians 5, 7. God was speaking to the Galatians through Paul, and he said, You were running this race so good, <clears throat> but who tripped you? You were running this race so good, but who made you fall away? Who tripped you while you were running? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let me say this. We only lose the race if we stay down. Don't stay down, but keep going to obtain the incorruptible crown. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Proverbs 24, 16. The Bible says a righteous man stumbles. He falls seven times. Hey, Zobie, God bless you. Love you, brother. Amen. Hallelujah. A righteous man falls seven times, but he gets back up. A righteous man, a man of God, a woman of God, they, the righteous fall seven times, but they get up. You only lose the race if you stay down on the ground. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's time we get up and stand up in God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God is our strength. <clears throat> A good athlete knows his weaknesses, but he trusts his coach. He trusts his coach. Amen. I'm going to say that one more time. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. A good Athlete knows his weaknesses, but he trusts his coach. Second Corinthians twelve nine. Paul was talking to the Lord about what he was going through, and he said, Lord, remove this thing, and he asked three times, and the Lord said, No. My grace is sufficient for you, for I am made strong. In your weaknesses. I am your strength where you're weak. God had to allow a thorn in the flesh of Paul to keep him humble. He was allowing this one issue in Paul's life the rest of his earthly life. He suffered with one thorn, his secret pain, he called it. And he suffered with this Achilles heel, basically. Achilles heel. A heel spiritually, that if he moved wrong in his spirit, it would make him stumble. It would make him fall, but God always gave him the strength to get back up from his Achilles heel. And he said, you can do it, Paul. My strength, my grace is sufficient for you. Keep going. Don't quit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Joel 3.10. Joel 3.10, he said, let the weak let the weak say I am strong. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Let the weak say I am strong. Joel 3.10. Amen. 
and trust your teammates, not just the coach. The coach is the ultimate one you trust. But a true athlete trusts his teammates as well. Romans 15, 1, let the strong bear the infirmities of the weak. The Bible says, iron sharpen as iron. Let the strong bear the infirmities of the weak. Romans 15, 1. We all need each other. Paul said, the hand can't say to the foot, I don't need you. And uh, the, the hand can't say to the wrist, I don't need you. Or, or the the, the, the head can't say to the body, you're no good to me. You, you know what I'm saying. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Every member of the body of Christ needs each other. We need each other. We need to stick with each other. When we feel like giving up, let the strong bear the infirmities of the weak. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. James 5, 16, he says, confess your faults one to the other that you may be healed or strengthened. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Yes, we are going to get tired. Jeremiah 12, 5, he said, if running with the footmen have wearied you, how will you contend with horses? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If just this little bit of running in the race in the spirit has wearied you out, how you going to continue in other things when other things come your way? Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Now, in Isaiah 40 and 31, he said, just above that, he said, the, right, the, the young man will surely stumble and fall in the night. But then he said in verse 31 of Isaiah 40, 31, I think it's like verse 30 or 29, he said that the young man will utterly stumble. But Isaiah 40, 31 says that, thank you, Jesus, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not be faint. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are running for an, un an uncorrupt, an, an, an incorruptible crown. Uncorruptible crown, however you want to say it. First Corinthians 9, 14 through 27. We are running to obtain a prize that only the righteous, only those that have believed Christ are going to win that prize. See, First Timothy 4, 8 says that exercise profiteth little. My Lord. Exercise profiteth little. Yeah, you going to exercise. Please share this video, everybody, in Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> I'm asking everybody to share this video. If you're watching, please share. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. 1 Timothy 4, 8. Exercise profiteth little. You know what? They got all these bodybuilders out there. And they're building up their body. They're doing all the right things, eating all the right proteins and all this other stuff. But if that bodybuilder was to die without making God their Lord, without making Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior, if they were to die, their physical body that looks amazing on this side of heaven, would be worthless to them on the other side. How do you get your spirit man in shape? You fast, you pray, you read your Bible, you get in the word of God, you worship the Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. That's how you get your physical, your spiritual body in shape. That's how you work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You got to work it out. Glory to God. Amen. Beat this body into submission. Even when you don't want to get up and read your Bible, get up and read your Bible. Get up in the presence of God and let the presence of God get up in you. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. I told y'all, no two sermons are different. Uh, no two sermons are the same. They're all different. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The study of this sermon is on YouTube right now live. Or not live. It was it, YouTube is where we were at earlier this morning, me and Brother Jesse, my co-pastor, we were doing a Bible study 
and I posted it online on uh, YouTube. So if you want to get this study, you can go to YouTube. If you want to hear the preaching, you can stay live. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Amen. I was under the weather last week and I couldn't preach, but today God's allowed me to preach the gospel. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Why? Because the Lord is made strong in my weakness. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Let me tell you something. When I die, when they, when you read that Brother H.R. has died in the paper, don't believe it because I'll be alive on the other side of heaven looking better than Arnold Schwarzenegger ever thought he'd look because I've been working out my spiritual man. Physical man, yeah, you can tell that needs a little workout, all right? But <laughs> thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, physical man needs a little workout. Very little. No, I'm kidding. It needs a lot of workout. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Tell this truth and shame the devil. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. First Timothy 4, 8. Exercise profit as little. You need your spiritual man working out. Not just your physical body. You need to work your spirit man out. Wake up even in the middle of the night. God will wake me up 2, 3 o'clock in the morning sometimes, and I'll be up praying. A lot of people be in their bed sleeping, in, you know, in uh, Mexico, in, in New York. People be asleep, but God will wake his prophets up and have them pray. God will wake up his sleeping prophets God will wake up his sleeping apostles. God will wake up his sleeping pastors and have them pray. Have that flesh worked off of them. By the time they get up and they hit the floor, they're already ready for their Bible. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says we're going to be judged by what's in the books. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. So it's time you read your Bible every night before you go to bed. Read it every morning before you get up. Or your feet hit the floor, already have your head in that Bible. I said, I do. I have my head in the Bible. I got a Bible in my room, got a Bible in the in the kitchen. Because I'm not going to allow the enemy to steal my life. Because God owns this life. He bought me with such great price. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. One day the coach will blow the whistle one last time. One day the final score will be won and the final buzzer will go off. 2 Corinthians 5.10 says we will all appear at the Bema seat of Christ. At the judgment seat. That word judgment is Bema. What is a Bema? The Bema is where they would put an athlete up on the platform to receive his rewards. Whether he done good for God or he done something for himself. Whether he done good or evil. Your good deeds are as filthy rags before the Lord. My good deeds are as filthy rags before the Lord. But the Holy Ghost of God, who is to keep us from stumbling, will strengthen you. Especially on that day, we will be strengthened. We'll receive either reward or losses for what we've done in this body. Now, if you have... Facebook cut it again. Three times they've cut this video today. I bind that in the name of Jesus. That spirit of distraction in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If you're lost, if you're back, said, pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I believe you died on the cross that God the Father raised you from the dead and I am saved. 
Lord Jesus, wash me. Cleanse me. Fill me with your spirit that I might make heaven my home. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. If you prayed that prayer today, write to me. Let me know what God's done for you. I want to celebrate with you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Write to me. Let me know what God's done. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Kid Henry, K-I-D-D-H-E-N-R-Y. 617 at gmail.com kidhenry617 at gmail.com k-i-d-d-h-e-n-r-y 617 at gmail.com I want to send you out a certificate of sonship in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Holy Ghost. I love you Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah Lord. Amen. Well glory to God. This was an awesome Bible study. And an awesome preaching. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to post this live preaching on YouTube today as well. So you'll have the teaching and you'll have the preaching. You can find me, Brother HR, on YouTube. God bless you. Hallelujah. I love you in Jesus' name. If you're sick in your body, I curse every devil of sickness in the name of Jesus. I command a creative miracle from the body part room in heaven. In Jesus' name, by his stripes you are healed. Every symptom and every sickness, every issue in the tissue be removed and be healed in Jesus' name. Create a miracle in the name of Jesus by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Like I said earlier, if there's enough of God in you, then God can take your very shadow and heal the sick, just like he did with Peter. All you got to do is walk in that room with the authority and the power and the love of God. The love of God is what the goodness of God draws men to repentance, the Bible says. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Love you too, Brother Zobi. God bless you. I give God the glory. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. You ain't even got to lay hands on anybody. Just walk in there in the authority and the glory of God. Because you got all of heaven backing you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Paul said we're to lay hands on no man suddenly. You know, a lot of people think, well, that means, you know, don't lay hands on the sick. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. People think it means don't lay hands on possessed. Mm, no, 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 no. If you go back and look at that when he's talking about don't lay hands on no man. And it is good not to lay hands on the possessed person, especially if you ain't been prayed up. But what I'm saying is that scripture, the original context in which it's given, is saying don't lay hands on anybody to ordain them lest you become a partaker in their sin. Lay hands on no man suddenly lest you become a partaker in their sin. If you're going to ordain somebody in the ministry and you're going to put your name on that person's life saying yes they're under this ministry you better know who you ordaining before you ordain them. Amen. Because if they mess up out there you going to get tagged into that. They're going to say well that person was ordained by this ministry, so they're in that with them. He's saying, keep your name clean in the church. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. But like I tell you, if you got enough of the power of the Holy Ghost in you, you ain't got to lay hands on anybody. Just walk up to them in the name of Jesus. Be done. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free in the name of Jesus. God can use your shadow just like he used Peter's shadow. It's the glory of God in you under salvation. He has, he has a hidden treasure within earthen, earthen vessels. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, if you are bound up by anything... I don't care what it is. I bind every spirit of bondage 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I take authority over every addiction. Every addiction I command you to have an addiction by holy conviction. I drive you out of them in Jesus' name. I send you back to the pit from which you came and command you never to return again, never to trouble them any longer in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the power of the Holy Ghost of God in Jesus' name. For he who the Son sets free is free indeed. And the Bible said, we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony in Jesus' name. And according to Nahum 1 and 9, the attack cannot return a second time in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Well, glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Well, if you've never been baptized in the Holy Ghost and fire, Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and fire, and out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Do it now, Lord Jesus. Fire. <laughs> Fire, 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 fire. Wash them, the water of the word. I do that prophetically in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to H.R.O. Revivals. It is the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord. Brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. If you've been blessed by this ministry and you would like to support this ministry, your love gifts, large or small, keep helping us bring the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ around the world, not just here, but abroad as well. I love you. God bless you. I'll see you in the next meeting or in the air in heaven. You can give through Cash App. Go to Cash Tag Hour for Revival, all capital letters. Our for uh, all first or capital letters, cash tag our full revival, or you can give through PayPal. However, you want to give, give in Jesus' name as unto the Lord. If you've been blessed, your you know, if you've been blessed, 